But you think that's fucked up? You think stealing lyrics is fucked up? Where do you get a load of this shit? Did you guys hear about this shit? I, this is why I gotta still do this channel and still do news. Shout out to the good people of Chicago, aka Chirac. Here's some more um more shit to add fuel to the fire. It's the Illinois Safety Act, in which the, the safety is silent and there is no safety. It will end cash bail. So that means there is no longer going to be any cash bail for uh Illinois um suspects. Now, you know, there's one argument to be made. It's funny. Me and Matt were kind of talking about it off air. Um, there's an argument to be made about how many how many people get held in jail over, like, minor offenses, over things that are not threatening, over a lot of it is just a bunch of dr druggies or drunkies. There's, there's something to be said about that, right? But, yeah, up to second-degree murder. Outside of, yeah, we'll get into it, but yeah, up to second degree murder, there's no bail now. It's one thing if you're talking about nonviolent drug offenses. I, I think we can all, like, I'm somebody, like I've said, you know, I'm pretty libertarian on this. I'm for the elimina lim elimination of drug laws as they are. Um, not that I want cocaine and crack, you know, in every 7 Eleven, but I just, I don't see what drug offenses have done outside of criminalized activities that don't hurt anybody and create criminals out of people um, and create criminals out of a lot of people. That's all, all drug laws have done. But that's not what the Safety Act is doing. It's eliminating cash bail for pretty much everything up into, uh, like I said, up to second degree murder. Illinois will become a prison state. Basically, Wisconsin, Indiana will be guarding the borders of Illinois arm. Uh, shit wrap up, cuz. Hell, Zach's. That's crazy. You still show up. You're like a superstar now. <laughs> you like have thousands of subs. You still still showing up. That's see, that's that's how you know Zach's is a real one. Because we remember Zach's was just another guy in the chat. He was, you know, around and he started his own channel, blew up. That's how you know Zach's is a real one. Because he, he he still like I'm still show up, watch Vigilante do his dumb shit. But yeah, let's let's uh, actually read into it. A uh, new state law takes effect next year. It's uh, spurring pushback from Illinois law enforcement. It's called the Safety Act. It's, it's aimed at reforming Illinois' cash bail system. A number of state attorney sheriffs are sounding alarm about Illinois' plan to end cash bail. Now, here's one little caveat off rip. Uh, judges will have discretion in certain cases like armed robbery. It's a case that's detainable. Um, but for other offenses, like you mentioned, second degree murder, kidnapping, hate crimes, aggravated bar batteries and robberies, just to name a few judges will not have discretion unless the person is a willful risk of imminent flight, their risk to the public and their risk to commit a future crime will not be a criteria. This is what the DuPage County state attorney says. Um, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. This is like, I don't want to hear motherfuckers say, oh, you, you're reaching with this conspiracy shit, bro. Explain why you would do this to Chicago. Explain why you would do this to a city that's already known as Chirac. Why would you do this? What's the benefit to this? How does this benefit the citizens of, of Illinois uh, in particular, the Chicago land area. I can also toss out uh, the East St. Louis land area. You know what I mean? East St. Louis, Illinois, which is also, you know, a smaller area, um, but it's not known to be the safest area on earth. So when you ha when you know you have these type of communities in your state, what do you think allowing people who do aggravated batteries, kidnapping, robbery, what do you think letting people just go free go as far as... Um, before trial. And this is a grant is DuPage County state attorney. You can take him, Robert Berlin of Berlin. You can take his, uh, his conjecture, whatever way you want to take it. But he says that their risk to a public and their risk to commit a future crime is not even a criteria. Listen, there's a lot of shit with this criminal justice system is fucked up. These private prisons are fucked up. How many people are nonviolent 
drug offenders. That's fine. If this law was just about non-violent drug offenders, nobody would even, this wouldn't be a story. Nobody would care. But this seems like a deliberate means to put the safety of people from Illinois in even greater danger than it may already be. That's that's the only way I can interpret this. If you have a different way of interpreting this, please let me know. But as far as I can see, this safety act, all it's doing is giving criminals more leeway. And we see how that works in California. You have these different um, thresholds for what's considered robbery. So people can go up into a Walgreens or 7-Eleven or CVS in California, put $900 worth of shit in it, their uh, bag and just leave. And there's no law against it. It's like, there's no law. That's lawlessness. You've basically, people are shopping. Anyone who's paying money for their shit in the state of California is doing some, so at option. They can treat it like downloading albums back in the day. Just like, you know, I'm going to just go into the store and just take all the shit and just walk out because I don't, I don't feel like paying. Even regular people could do that if they want it. You're encouraging lawlessness. And now, if you commit robbery, you get arrested, you can be back out in the streets. I mean, yeah, you're still waiting trial. But how long does trials take? How many more crimes go to uh, stuff up those uh, those courts with trial? Because m- more people are out. So now it takes longer to go to trial. You might just throw the trial out over bullshit just because they don't feel like uh, prosecuting the case. Uh, some state officials say it's going to make crime worse. In Illinois, so does anybody with a, a logical uh, brain. Because, again, this law could have been beneficial if they wanted it to be beneficial. But they don't want it to be beneficial. They want it to be detrimental to the citizens of Illinois. And this is coming to a a, a liberal state near you, by the way. It's not stopping in, in Illinois. Because, hell, just like I was saying with the California shit, we see something go from one area where you have a, a liberal law. Okay, let's let's lower the threshold for what's considered robbery for, you know, it's a minor crime now if it's under $1,000 or $2,000 or whatever the number is. And now you have this. It's the next step up. Okay, let's uh, give more leeway. And we saw some of this through the pandemic. But uh, let's give more leeway to criminals. Um, if you're charged with a crime, you don't have to make bail. You just, you're just out. Okay? Um... The new law that goes into effect January 1st gets rid of cash bail entirely. Also limits who can be arrested and who held on jail based upon a crime they're alleged to have commit. Many members of law enforcement are working to have the law amended. I'm very concerned about an increase in violent crime. But again, I, I do want to stress there is still time to fix it. And the state attorneys are working very hard, as we have been for the last year and a half, to fix this law. It's very fixable. We can eliminate, we still eliminate cash bail, but make sure the right people are in custody and everyone who's not a danger gets out. Which you would think that would have been the goal off off rip is to say, you know what, nonviolent criminals um, and criminals that, you know, drug offenses, alcohol type stuff, you can, you know, you can get out. Those in support of the law says wrong people keep it to keep people in jail simply because they can't afford bail. On some level, I understand, I, I agree with that. You know, I, I, I dislike the commercialization of the prison system. But I, I also think people who are violent criminals, especially violent criminals who uh, seem like they're going to reoffend or have incentive to reoffend specifically to the reasons of the case, i.e. I have a drug case or a murder case, I can affect the witness. And granted, first degree murder, I guess, is technically still, you know, something you would need uh, judge discretion at. But if it's a second degree homicide or a manslaughter charge, you know what I mean? There's a witness or something. You can intimidate the witness just because you're out. 